If you have a picky eater and it feels like they don't eat a single thing that you make, then you're going to want to watch this video. I'm giving you a really important tip that you can start right now that's going to help you with that super frustrating time when they don't want to eat anything you make. For toddler nutrition and picky eating advice, make sure to follow me both here and on Instagram too. Okay, you're in these moments when you're making a meal, you put through all this effort and time to make it, and you really think your little one might eat it, or maybe you're beyond that point, and you know they're just not gonna eat anything you make. It's really, really annoying and you're in this position of like, what is the point of me even making this when I can pretty much guarantee they're not going to eat it? But here's the thing, this is incredibly important to know. What they put in their mouth is not at all in your control. You can only control the foods that you provide to them. You cannot control what they decide to actually eat. So don't let that determine how you feel about their eating, whether they actually ate this meal or not. Because we don't know, maybe they're not hungry that day. Maybe they're not hungry for that meal and they just don't know how to say it to us. Sometimes they can say things like, this is yucky, I don't like this, when really they're just saying, I don't really feel like eating right now. So what can you do right now to deal with this? You can choose to still offer food even when you know they're probably not gonna like it. And here's why. That exposure, continuing to expose them to these foods that you eventually want them to be eating is so much more important than whether they decide to take a couple bites of what you made tonight or not. Even if they don't even touch the food, it's still important to get it out there because you know what? If they don't see it, then they're never gonna have a chance to try it or like it. It is still a win just for you to put it out there. So even if you've put out broccoli 100 times and they're still not going for it, it's really important to keep doing that because you never know when they're gonna surprise you and it really helps them to be comfortable later on when they grow out of this normal picky eating phase and they're five or six years old and they've seen that food 100 times. So I hope this gives you the encouragement that you need to keep doing what you're doing, still offer those foods even when you know there's a high chance they're not gonna eat it. If this video was helpful to you, please like it and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my blog because I share tons of picky eating tips on my blog, on my Instagram, find me wherever works best for you.